Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 17th video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable VMware HA basically high availability feature on a VMware vCenter server 8 so <coughs> you can uh, enable VMware uh, HA or DRS on a cluster level so in last videos we have enabled DRS and we have checked how the DRS work and how to configure proactive DRS or uh, <coughs> how you can set the aggressive DRS and all those things. So if you want to see and check out the DRS enabling and configuration in action you can go in my last videos and you can review and in this video we are going to look on HA feature. So HA basically stands for high availability. So let's say if you have a created a VMware cluster on a vCenter server and you have added two node, three node or maybe maybe 10 nodes. Okay. And if you want your virtual machine to be highly available means if the host goes fail, uh, one host goes fail, the virtual machine which is running on that particular host does not go down. So it will have a high availability enable. So if host goes down, the virtual machines are going to be restarted on another host. So this is what HA is. So making sure the virtual machine is highly available over the VMware cluster and all. So in this picture, you can see if the host goes down, uh, we we have a cluster, VMware cluster and one of the host goes down, which is given here. And then virtual machine is going to basically migrate from one ESXi host to another ESXi host. So we'll see how, how we can do this in demo environment. So and also we'll configure the HA and then we will do the uh, HA failure testing and all. So <coughs> this is my demo environment. So I got same machines which we are carrying from last uh, few videos. So the first machine we got our Active Directory server. So Win 2K22 DC. So if I show you, this is my domain controller and Next is my uh, vCenter appliance, so which is again running on one of my ESXi hosts, ESXi01. And we got basically four ESXi hosts. So you'll see here, I got my four ESXi host. And this is my vCenter appliance, which is VCSA, which is running on ESXi host, if, if you see here. So this is my four node cluster. And we have enabled DRS in last video, so you can see the VMware v, uh, vSphere DRS score also so everything looking good now what we'll do we will configure HA so if I go how to configure HA so this is already a cluster so you see, you can see here prod cluster and capacity users if you go on host you will see here we got four four hosts in this cluster and <coughs> cluster services healthy everything looks good now we need to enable the HA so to enable HA you need to go right click and then click on settings now if you go in settings you will see vSphere uh, DRS is turned on now if I click here vSphere availability you will see here vSphere uh, HA is turned off so you need to enable it so if I go ahead and click enable you will see now it's going to be enabled by default so if you see here host host failure response so this is what is by default given so restart vm so means if the host goes fail which is given in this picture the virtual machine will be rebooted on another host so if i expand this you will see when a host failure is detected vms will be restarted in uh, in order to determine by their restart priority so you can set the restart priority also also if you want you can uh, host monitoring is turned now vCenter will not respond to host failure so so if you you enable the HA it should be restart VM so then your virtual machine will be highly available and response to host isolation is also here given so power of uh, so shutdown and restart virtual machine if the host goes uh, basically isolate in an isolated environment so in this state also you can by default it's disabled you can I select to anything like power off or restart shutdown or restart so all the affected vm on power uh, will be powered off and vSphere attempted to restart on other host 
I still have network connectivity. So this is what if you want you can select this also. Data stored with uh, P uh, PDL means if uh, there is a there is a data store which have a path a path down error then it will restart virtual machine also. So you have this option also. So it should be power off and restart data store uh, um, APD um, active active path dead. Uh, so power off and restart. So these are the some <coughs> some method when you want to restart your virtual machine to make sure they are highly available and VMware monitoring also you can set if if let's say enable heart beating monitoring so VMware VMware monitoring as the virtual machine in VM so this is something which is going to be monitored through your VMware tools if the heartbeat is not received uh, for uh, to machine then it will uh, basically you can set uh, a restart and all so this is how you can you can basically configure your uh, HA feature based on your requirement and this is again uh, admission control policy if you want to um, configure it like host failure cluster tolerance so how many host failure you can go maximum so if there is a two host failure based on your capacity in your cluster you can configure is uh, maximum is the less number that host in cluster so this is what it can go and define host host failover capacity also you can uh, define in uh, percentage so I'll, I'll discuss these things in detail so also if you want to ha have this configuration in place based on your inf infrastructure uh, capacity you can configure these things also and then you will go heartbeat data store if the heartbeat if the heartbeat is uh, not received from data store then you want to perform anything so <clears throat> automatically select the data store uh, accessible uh, from the host or use the data store you can define also so based on your uh, again configuration you can select this so i'm going to select this or uh, use the data store from a specified list and component uh, uh, component automatically if required so this is what it is and advanced option if you want to configure anything advanced so now if i click, go ahead and click on ok it will going to configure some reconfigure cluster wizard and now you will see this is uh, completed now if i go here and just refresh this you will see ha is going to be enabled So now HA is enabled you can see here uh, we spare HA is enabled and settings also you can see whatever we have configured it will go ahead and configure those things so now if I show you here on a cluster you will see here HA is also now we spare HA is also reflecting here so <coughs> this is what it is so cpu reserve for failover 25 percent memory reserve for failover so 25 percent cpu and memory is reserved for failover so in our case it will it will go it will uh, go maximum up to one one failure in the cluster so you can see also configure ha uh, we spare ha is running on all esxi hosts so if i show you from here basically go to configure and ha you will see here what we have configured so if you want to configure uh, some other setting like reservation for the cpu and memory you can you can configure also so after that it will not going to allow you to create a virtual machine to make sure you have a maximum 25 uh, percent uh, capacity is available for a uh, failover so let's say if you are deploying a uh, virtual machine which will not allow you to maintain a 25% free of free space on the cluster for the computer not uh, compute basically it will not going to allow you to um, uh, create a virtual machine and configure so this is what you will see now 25% is by default reserved and now if you go on virtual machines first go to cluster here and now you will see here what is the status and all 
So now, if you go to ESXi host, go to summary, then you will see the vSphere HA is also status here. So vSphere HA status running, this is primary. Okay. And other host you will see also connected and secondary. So this is ESXi01 is our primary uh, in a HA and rest are you can say connected and secondary. So now what I'm going to do basically and virtual machine also if you go here you will see machines are going to be protected from HA. So if I scroll down you will see VMware uh, vSphere HA. Uh, vSphere HA protection is protected and a host failure on a host failure it's going to restart the virtual machine and settings uh, settings whatever we selected on cluster level it's basically coming on the virtual machine so this is good now if you see this es this is running on esxi2 so we need if we want to test like uh, this is working fine so i'm going to do one thing this is my esxi node 2 and i'm going to just power off let's say you have an outage for your esxi host now if your host goes fail what are the things is going to be happening so we'll see this in action now so if you see here now host 2 is powered off let's say it has a power outage or some some issue okay and if you see now esxi 02 vmware has detected vSphere h or ha host status uh, detected possible host failure so this is good now vmware has detected the host is in failed state now so now this mem1 was running on host 1 so sorry host 2 so you can see here it's running on uh, node 2 so now you will see this is gone in disconnected mode okay so it will take some time to restart this uh, machine on another host so now you will see now uh, from disconnected it went to uh, power on connection now if i refresh this before it was on node 2 and now uh, esxi2 must be now moved to some other host so now you will see this machine is rebooting so this is good news ha is working and ha has restarted this virtual machine on a esxi4 so this is good now if i go on monitoring and verify the task if i go to task you will see here And you will see here relocate virtual machine so migrate this from here of ESXi4 and so is what it is you'll see here this is what a relocation was started and to so hot migrating means this is hot migrating and so host goes fail so esxi4 data store this to uh, 0 to and data store is this so this is good migrating it now to esxi4 or virtual machine to esxi4 this is good so machine got migrated now if i go here and see this you'll see machine is on now if you want to verify the basically uptime this machine got rebooted so if you want to verify the uptime you can verify the uptime also so now again if i go here you will see the virtual machine is again uh, protected through ha okay so this is how you can uh, <coughs> uh, configure HA and you can make sure your virtual machines are available for HA. Okay, so if I show you the uptime, you'll see here the machine got rebooted two minutes back. So this is good. 
so now if i bring host to then vcenter is automatically going to detect like esxi02 is back so it will take some time and then it will show you the esxi2 is back and then if you have a drs it's going to basically migrate your virtual machine again from if it's set to automatic it will be automatically going to migrate your virtual machine to make sure the drs is uh, drs score is uh, proper so currently in my environment drs score is good so i don't think it's going to migrate anything automatically once the esxi02 is online so we'll see this in some time so almost booted so now you will see ssi2 is up and this is good uh, we got the login screen now if i go to ssi2 you will see it's uh, uptime is two minutes and now if i go here you will see there is no virtual machine so this is good <coughs> so this is how you can basically uh, configure your um, vmware ha uh, as a high availability for vSphere cluster so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye